Factory Connections Revalve TV Tech Tips. One of the most important things that, that we catch out the track all the time is this problem with rider sag. Uh, so we're going to go over that real quickly here and hopefully explain that to you very clearly. So here we're going to check the first measurement which is necessary and this is the fully extended length. So we're measuring from the inside of the fender bolt to the rear axle. So it's very important to pick two specific points, one being at the inner side of the fender and at the rear here you can see we're using the end of the swing arm where there's a sharp point and that allows us to really look at and choose a very specific millimeter for the measurement. Now we take a second measurement with the rider on board measuring again from the same two points. The measurement will obviously be different and once you subtract the second measurement from the first measurement that is your rider sag. It is very important that somebody either holds the front end of the bike or maybe you can put your hand against the wall or the corner of a trailer if you're short an additional helper. It's very important that all of the rider weight is on the motorcycle, both feet are on the foot pegs because even a slight amount of change in weight will make a big difference in this measurement. With the rider on board, it's important that he sits in his normal riding position. Sitting too far back or too far forward on the bike will also affect this measurement a great deal. Here you can see us adjusting the preload on the shock spring in order to change the rider sag. The initial measurement of sag was way too high, so we had to tighten the shock spring in order to reduce rider sag. Free sag is very similar to rider sag, however we take the measurement just by taking the motorcycle off of the stand and letting the bike settle under its own weight. We use this free sag measurement to help determine proper spring rate. If your free sag numbers are way off base, then you really need to be looking at choosing a different spring. Talk to your qualified factory connection technician about these values. Now we've taken a second measurement and we have attained the proper amount of rider sag that we were hoping for. Rider sag varies from bike to bike, from linkage to linkage. So you should refer to your suspension guide that is supplied with your shock in order to have the proper numbers.